So here we have our steel throne. Let's start with that uh, yellow propane flame. On the infrared, I'm getting the color of this thin piece of steel to change a little bit. That means some oxidization going on on the surface. And you can see uh, that's getting hot in 100 degrees C. Let's try this over on the, uh, thinner, the thicker steel for a little while. That's still hot. You can see it's thin. It's going to cool off pretty quickly. Now we're below 150. Now we're down maybe 100 or something on that. the map gas torch. I think we can get some of this glowing red hot. Not sure what else we can do. So even this really intense map glass flame, we're uh, tarnishing the surface a little bit. You see we've burned off the uh, coating, perhaps. Haven't caused any melting. There is a little bit, if I can turn this without knocking it over. A little bit of warping we did to the thin ones, but the thick ones didn't even warp. Probably took the temper out of some of that steel, so those will never be very good for uh, thickness gauges again. Turn that so you can see the warping. This is still really hot. It's going to lose heat pretty fast because they're relatively thin and I got some uh, of that plastic on it. All right, I need to go get myself some oxygen for my uh, oxy map gas torch, then see what we can do with it. But first, let's check in with my friend Dan. He has a plan to show us what it would look like if a dragon could melt a real iron throne. His scale model includes some 8 inch thick steel shims and a weed torch. The weed torch is great for killing grass, starting campfires, and setting your barn on fire. Don't ask. You will see that the weed torch makes a nice blue flame. The temperature of this flame is similar to the map gas torch we just saw, but much larger. Here's the two-minute test with a weed torch. 